hey guys first step up here welcome back again to my channel in this video i want to show you guys a step-by-step -step guide on how you can download the official dev beta of windows 11 without actually being a member of the windows insider program or without a microsoft account it's as easy as that this can get a little tricky sometimes this is how you can be a member of the windows insider program and still do not have the option to opt in and download the dev build on your pc and I've also seen other solutions that requires you to go to the registry editor and perform some registry edits before the option becomes available, which can get messy or cause some issues if you do not know what you're doing. Or sometimes it might just straight up tell you that your PC doesn't meet the minimum hardware requirement for Windows 11, as you can see here. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can get the very latest official release of Windows 11 simple and legally so the first thing you're going to do is to head over to your browser's app then go to uupdump.net don't worry i'm going to have links to everything in the description box so that it will be much more easier for you to just click and it will take you directly to the website okay so head over to uupdump.net Then right here you're going to see this page what we're interested in is the latest dev channel view of windows 11. if you scroll down you're going to see other options to available but this doesn't concern us for now so we're going to stick to the latest dev channel build on the right hand side here we have architectures that is system architecture so you can choose if you have a 64-bit 32-bit and arm version so our concern is to download the 64-bit version of Windows 11. So we click on X64. It will take us to this page right here where we have cumulative update for Windows 11 version 22000.51. This is what you're going to look out for, all right? So we click on it. Then it will take us to this other page right here. This page here is just for us to select our language. You can select any one that suits you then you click on next now this page right here gives you the options to select other versions of windows that is available in this particular view we can as you can see we have windows home windows home n windows pro windows pro n and windows theme so one thing to keep in mind is that if you should select all the options here and click on next the file size is going to be bigger so i might advise you to stick to the ones that you really need if you want windows pro you can just select pro if you want home you select home but in this case let's just select home and pro alone then we click on next as you can see the file size has been reduced drastically we now have 3.79 gigabytes in size so on this other option here we have download uup set download and convert to iso download add additional editions and convert to iso so we're going to stick to download and convert to iso which is going to download the windows package and when it's done it will convert it to an iso file for us which is what we want so we now click on create download package right now what is downloading here is not the windows 11 iso files this is actually what we're going to use to download and after that it to create our iso files for us okay so let's minimize this and go to our download folder it should be on our download folder yeah we have it here on our download folder so so all you have to do right here is to right click and select extract all it will give you this dialog box right here just click on extract so we now have all the files in one folder which will help us download our windows 11 and also create the iso file after downloading it so what we're going to do next is to click on upp download windows if you're on mac os you might want to select upp download mac os if you're on linux you can select the option for linux right so we're on windows we're going to select this all you need to do is just double click on it 
and you're going to get this windows user account control asking you to accept or no so you just click on yes so as you can see it is starting to download all the necessary files and requirements for windows 11 and once it's done it's going to build an iso file for us This particular process might take a little time, might take up to 10 to 15 minutes depending on your internet connection. So you might want to get a very good internet connection before doing this. Alright? So guys, I'm not going to let you sit down with me and watch this thing download from the beginning till the end. I'm just going to fast forward it then we're going to move on to the next step which will be me showing you the ISO file that it has created. Okay? All right, guys, so it looks like it has finished downloading all the necessary files for Windows 11. It's about time it's going to repackage the file and create an ISO for us. All right, guys, so it looks like it has finished everything. As you can see, we have press zero to exit. You might want to make sure that it takes you down to this point where you have press zero to exit before you close this. So if you should close this now and we go to, if we should go to our folder where we extracted the initial files, we should be able to see the Windows 11 ISO image file right here. As you can see, it's about 4.2 gig. Another thing I want to point out is that after downloading the zip file, do not copy it to a new folder like this. Do not copy into a new folder and extract it inside the new folder. If you do that, it's not going to work. So if you should if you should extract it inside this folder, it is not going to work. So do not do that. Make sure you extract it inside the download folder. For example, if I should double click, it's telling me current directory contains spaces in its parts. Please move or rename the directory to one not containing spaces. If you click on continue it quits so you do not want to do that so all i'm saying is don't copy the file to another folder and extract it inside the folder whenever the download is finished just extract inside the download folder and you're good to go so that is it guys that is how you can download the official windows 11 developers iso build directly from microsoft it's actually official without having or being a member of the windows insider program if you found this video useful, do well to click on that like button and subscribe to the channel. And thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you guys in my very next video. Bye bye.